After being shuttered for two years due to the pandemic, the Center City Jazz Festival returned to Philadelphia on April 22nd. Block by Blocks, Roxanne Logan spoke with Jazz Fest organizer Ernest Stewart to talk about how this year's festival went and future plans for the scene, the jazz scene in Philadelphia. Stewart is also a trombonist and a South Jersey native. We just wanted to talk to you about the ninth annual Center City Jazz Festival. How did it go? It went well, you know, considering the turnaround time from thinking, well, maybe it can happen this year to actually making it happening. And, you know, the day came where, you know, it's like, okay, it's festival day. You know, I think there might've been two months in between, (laughs) you know, look, I I think we started working on it in February and by April we were running the festival. I attended and it seemed like it was a great turnout. What did you think? Yeah, it was, it was a great turnout. You know, I think you could plainly say it was really well attended and, you know, the tickets sold out and it was just a madhouse and it was great. It was beautiful to see the uh, musician side of me was extremely excited to see a lot of the musicians that were there. It was almost exhausting the amount of hugs I was giving out to people I haven't seen in years. Um, But it was really exciting to be there. Now, did you get the opportunity to play that night? I played late when everything was all said and done. And it's fun. And I usually wait until the very last set. But yeah, it was great. It was announced that next year the festival would be expanding. Can you tell us about that? Sure, sure. You know, um, in order to make the festival happen this year, I reached out to WRTI and Jazz Philadelphia. And part of the goals was, look, this has to be a stepping stone. Let's use our collective resources to make something good happen here, to change it and make it this new venture for, for all of us. So it's something that it's still, of course, under development, but we're all very excited about it. And we begin taking the necessary steps to get us there. What do you do between jazz festivals? Yeah, so I live in the East Village now. It's been cool having the uh, proximity to Philadelphia that I have living in New York. Um But between festivals, you know, I'm working full time for a regional arts foundation and it's been really great to have that and to change my perspective on a lot of things. You know, Uh, during the pandemic, I went back to school to get my master's in nonprofit management. So to further that a bit, you know, I got a position over at Mid-Atlantic Arts and it's, it's really I think about the arts and my place in the arts and these partnerships that I've established and it's really influenced the way I think about our collective resources and influence. What are some other festivals that you would recommend that people attend throughout the year? Sure. There's um, the New York Winter Jazz Festival, which happens in January. It's very similar to the model that the uh, Center City Jazz Festival has employed where you get nearby venues and you book shows all within walking distance of each other all happening at the same time. Um, I would also say D.C. has a great jazz fest, the D.C. Jazz Fest. Brick has a great jazz fest in Brooklyn, B-R-I-C, and that's in the fall. D.C. has a woman in jazz fest. There's a lot of a lot of it out there. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate you you calling me about this. I know the festival's done this year, but it's always great to talk about it and start planting the seeds for next year, you know. Thank you.